gentlemen, you know my first guest tonight as the host of The Price is Right, which is celebrating 50 years on the air. Now let's meet our first guest, Drew Carey. Come on down. You're the first guest on The Late Show. Drew, where are you from? I'm from Cleveland. Uh huh. Are you, are you a little nervous? A little nervous, yeah. This is my... You're going to be great. Have a seat, everybody. Thanks, Take care, thanks. everybody. <laughs> One dollar, Bob. <laughs> Do you have to keep up? Do you have to keep up on the uh, the price of ordinary things in your life? Because people buy no, you know, on the street and I they're like, know, "What's a pint of milk?" I don't know. No, people don't ask me. I, I don't know anything when I go out. I don't know what games they're playing. They give me a list that they put on my desk in my dressing room, but I never look at it. So I'm just like, you know, they point me to a spot, and I think, oh, we're probably playing this one game, or I yeah. can look behind the thing. But yeah. when the, and it spins around, I know just what we're playing, and it's so easy. Well, so you're enjoying it just like we are from home. I get to work like a half hour before I have to go on stage. Hey, and I mean this, <laughs> I mean this in all friendship. <laughs> you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I even I hate to tell people. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, of 14 years, what did you think when you got into this gig? What did you think it was going to be? Uh, and what did it turn out? What surprised you about the gig? How about that? I, it really, like, it's such a joyous, happy place. Like, you see people, everybody's there is rooting for a stranger to do well. Wow. Yeah. Which you don't see anywhere. They're always like, oh, I hope that person loses or kick that person off the island or, you know what I mean? It's always stuff like that. Sure, sure, sure. On Price is Right, it's like, yeah, screw CBS. Take all their money. <laughs> 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 you know? It's well, kind of fun. Your guests are so, uh, they're, they're so excited. Here's some examples of uh, their enthusiasm <laughs> for having, <laughs> for meeting you. That's that's what I get for leaving my phone in the dressing room. And I don't know what 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 is happening. It looks like you got bowled over by a human bowling ball. A gorilla came over and just blew me. <laughs> that's what happened. Good. Blew you down, you mean? Yeah, blew, blew you me down. down yeah. Blew you down. <laughs> um, now this is this is a crazy this is a crazy bit of business that I just found out. <laughs> CBS man, CBS. I know. Yeah, whatever. CBS. <laughs> <laughs> I only kind of work here, is what you're saying. You know, it's such a thrill to come on a show where I can just swear and do dirty jokes. Because I can't swear on The Price is Right. Not even have it bleeped or anything like that. No, nothing. Like, you want a car? I can't do that. <laughs> They'd be so happy, though. <laughs> Holy <laughs> See what happens when I want a car? I can't do that. Um, <laughs> I heard, and I don't know how this is true or how you would know, but that Paul McCartney is a fan. Yes. So I have, I'm friends with this guy named Chris Holmes. Hi, Chris. How you doing? And uh, before COVID, he was Paul McCartney's DJ. So he would open up Wait the show. Wait a second. Wait a second. Paul McCartney has a DJ? That opens up the show for him. Oh, I thought, like, for his weddings and stuff like that. Well, no. he does, like, <laughs> private... When they're having a party, he does that, too. Sure. But he'll, he travels with Paul McCartney, and they, he plays Beatles remixes that he does mm -hmm. and covers and does a really nice set of, for an hour before the show starts. Sure. He gets everybody in the Beatles mood. And so I went to see him in Toronto, and he goes, oh, I think uh, I can get Paul to come do a meet and greet with you and get a picture. I go, that'd be great. So I go down in the basement of the arena, and I'm waiting behind this, in front of this curtain thing to get a picture taken, and Paul McCartney eventually walks out, and he has his hand out, and he goes, hi, Drew. And he shakes my hand, and I thought, oh, Chris told him who I was. Oh, yeah. That's how Paul McCartney knows For that sure. I'm here. And then he goes, you know, I love Price is Right. He goes, I watch trash TV all the time. It's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> like, you what? Yeah, I'll take like, it. Uh, like, uh huh? And then he goes, is it, fun, is it as fun as it seems? And he's asking me questions like that. And I was like, this is crazy. And then, so then I'm like bouncing about that. Like, I can't even get it out of my head. Then I'm watching, I'm with uh, uh, Amy, and we're, we're, we're on the floor seats 
watching the show. And we have pretty good seats, you know, on the floor. We're watching the show. And we're up dancing in front of our little folding chairs. And they're doing back in the USSR. Mm -hmm. And the end comes where he's doing the ooh, ooh, ooh's, the Beach Boy part. And uh, he goes, ooh, 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 ooh. And he looks right at me. And he goes, come on down to the prices, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Wow. That's, that's not bad. Yeah. And that's how you got there. Price is right is how you got yeah. to Paul McCartney's I started, radar. I, I teared up. I, I couldn't help it. I'm a little teared up just it was like it's, it. It was insane. And then, then I, I got Chris to come with me. We were on a Family Feud, and he also watches Family Feud. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he spent a whole time on our Family Feud introduction wow. saying hi to Paul McCartney on Family Feud. <laughs> we have to take a quick break. Uh, but when we come back, uh, we'll talk about uh, Drew's time in the Marines. Thank you.